How to learn to play the guitar for free. This video is to help you get the very most out of the GCH Guitar Academy guitar course, which is now available for free at ebooksforguitar.com. And if you took part in the 100k subscriber offer, this will be particularly useful for you. The GCH Guitar Academy guitar course was originally written to be taught in a one-to-one face-to-face -to -face environment. However, over the years it's been developed and improved so it can teach people through the medium of CD-ROM and now YouTube videos. And this is why the course is laid down in weeks, months and years. So, in order to get the most out of the GCH Guitar Academy guitar course, you want to treat each lesson like a weekly private tutorial. So you study the lesson and then spend the week practicing it and trying to improve what you've learnt. And then you move on to the next lesson and do the same again. Now with the online version you have the massive advantage in that you don't have to return to the next lesson a week later. If you've got a lot of time available to practice and you're a quick learner, you could cover the course in half the time. However, if you need more time and you don't get much time to practice, you can stretch it out and return to the lessons every couple of weeks. But if you have the discipline, go through all the lessons, because I realise there'll be some lessons that certain students won't like and others they'll like more. But even if you don't like what you're having to learn, Still go through it and just grasp the concept or understand the lesson because this is a structured course and if you study it properly you will be able to play the guitar properly and no tune put in front of you will seem daunting because you understand the techniques that are involved to get that tune right. So to get the most out of the GCH Guitar Academy guitar course you want to try and treat it like weekly lessons. Now if you get stuck with any of the lessons, there's an ever-growing number of videos to support them. And the easiest way to find the videos that support the lessons is to go through ebooksforguitar.com. And I'll show you how to find them now. So the first thing we want to do is go to ebooksforguitar.com. And then when you get to the home page, you want to click on the Lessons button in the top corner. In there you'll find the choice between left and right handed guitar lessons. And I'm aware more people are right handed so I'll click on the right handed tab. Now you've arrived on the Lessons page. This is probably the most important page. And at the top of the page we have short courses that have mainly been written for YouTube. But down below them, around the middle of the page, you'll see month 1, month 2, month 3, month 4, etc. And this is obviously the full course. So let's take a look at month 1. When we arrive at month 1, at the top of the page, we'll have got some links that will just take you down the page. Or if you prefer, you could just scroll. So. I'll scroll down the page just to show you what's there. And the first thing you'll see is the ebook online. So you can view the ebook online if you don't have the uh, printable version yourself. And you can navigate through the ebook and through the different lessons quite easily and you can make it full screen, etc. Right, if we minimize that ebook and go back to the page and then scroll down a bit you'll see we've got a backing track section there. If the tune you're learning has got a backing track, then it's well worth practicing with the backing tracks. And this is because, without realising, when we're practising, we keep to our own times. And by practising it with a backing track, you get used to keeping the correct time. And this means when you get the chance to play with another musician or with a band, you're already good to go. Whereas if you haven't practiced with a backing track, you'll really struggle to play with other people. However, 
A metronome's just as good, just as long as you get used to keeping time. Now, looking down below the backing tracks, we have the video lessons. Unfortunately, so far, I haven't got a video for every lesson in the ebooks, but every month new ones are uploaded and we get closer to that goal. However, there's worth me pointing something else out as well with these videos. Every now and again, you'll get a video that is linked with a separate short course. So if you wanted to look at the short course, you can. So to demonstrate that, let's go back to the lessons and go to month two. You'll notice straight away, month two is laid out exactly the same way as month one, where we've got the down the page links at the top, then we've got the ebook, then we've got the backing tracks, and finally we've got the video lessons. But you'll notice down here, there's a video lesson that it says lesson one of nine. And that's because this particular lesson is being used by two different courses. The full course and a short course on blue scales. So if you wanted to, you can then jump out of the main course and go through the short course. And there's two ways of doing this. If you click on the video, you'll be taken to YouTube. And underneath the video is a link to the playlist. And that's the complete course. Alternatively, while still in ebooksforguitar.com, you can go back to the lessons page and then looking down the short courses, you'll find the short course on the blue scales. And by clicking on there, you go into the short course, which is arranged in the same way as the months, so it's easy to follow. So if you choose to do that course, you can go through that short course, and then when you've finished, you can return to month two and continue through the weeks and the months as you were before. Oh, and whilst I remember, when you look at some of the short courses, look underneath the PDFs because sometimes the downloadable version is there. And if you click on that, it will open in your browser. And then you can either download it and save it to your computer, or you can print it out, whichever you prefer. That's really just a summary of how to use the course. Now, a question I get asked an awful lot is, how much should you practice? And I honestly can't answer that for every person out there. It really depends on your own abilities and how much practice you need. However, when you're first learning the guitar, you don't need to go mad. Even quarter of an hour a day is better than nothing. Obviously, if you want to practice longer, that's brilliant. But if you end up forcing yourself to practice, then you'll just end up giving up. So, if you're in that position, just spend quarter of an hour a day and you'll be fine. And as your repertoire builds up and as you become a better guitarist, you'll want to practice more. It'll just become more pleasurable to you. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope it helps you follow the course and achieve what you want with the guitar and really enjoy the instrument. If this is the first time you've visited this channel and it's piqued your interest, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I upload new lessons. And also, if you're new to this channel, it would be worth you looking through the playlists because that's where I keep the short courses. Or you can visit www.ebooksforguitar.com and have a look through what we've just demonstrated. And thank you again for watching.